may akagipas. So, okay, let's start our class. Let's pray the Dominican blessing in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Sila, pakimut pa yung ano, pakimut pa yung ano. Parang may cue, mute yung pa. May God the Holy Spirit enlighten us and give us eyes to see with you, ears to hear with you, hands to do the work of God, faith to walk with you, and to reach the world of salvation, and may the angel of peace watch over us and lead us at last in the Lord's gift to the kingdom of peace. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, good afternoon, guys. So today, I will discuss Chapter 1 of SPI, uh, Social and Professional Issues. So I hope everyone, last time nag-assign tayo ng topics, in-upload ko yung topics and uh, reporter assigned sa group and also in-upload ko po yung PDF ng course book. So... If you have a spare time over the weekend, uh, you can start uh, building or designing your report, okay? So chapter one is all about overview of ethics. I will discuss the whole chapter one. And by September one, we'll start with chapter two. Start na po ng reporting. So all reporters under chapter two should be ready. Kasi hindi natin alam kung gano'ng kabilis yung reporting. Okay. So let me just share. So, overview of ethics. Today, we will discuss what is ethics, um, ethics in the business world, ethical decision-making, persuasive power of ethics and law, ethics in information technology. Right. O, lahat yan ay discuss natin today. Uh, okay. So, before we discuss with the main topic, watch nyo muna to. So, um, ano ba kapansin nyo doon sa video na yun? Wala. Pagmamalaki ko lang, may Netflix kami. Anong meron doon sa video? English, English yan, mami. Ay? Hindi na ko na yung subtitle. <laughs> mami, may ayon din dyan? Balakra, Julia? Balakra ako na. Mami, mag-jump eh. Oh, sige, kwento ko na mo. So, atin lang, letong atsuka rin. Kapampakay. <laughs> so, we have Sheldon. Kinala niyo si Sheldon yung naka-green. Si Leonard yung naka-salamin. Tapos yung katabi ni Sheldon, yung Bumbay, si Raj, at si Howard. <clears throat> what happened in the video is, 
naglalaro sila ng Sword of Azeroth. Parang ML lang. Di ba pag ML 5 uh, versus 5, naka-team kayo, team, ver, uh, team play siya, di ba? The problem is, nung umatake sila, si Sheldon, meron siyang ibang intention. Ang intention ni Sheldon is makuha lang niya yung Sword of Azeroth. So, imbis na tulungan niya si Raj na inaatake na, gagamitin niya sana yung sleep spell. Kaso hindi niya ginamit kasi he aim for the Sword of Azeroth. Okay, so, yun lang yung gist nung uh, clip. Question is, did you think, uh, did Sheldon do anything wrong? For your, in your opinion, do you think may mali si Sheldon doon? Yes, ma'am. Kasi hindi po siya nag-participate as a group. As a group. Oh. So, expected nyo is mag-play si Sheldon as a team. Okay? However, Sheldon did, uh, parang naging selfish siya. Okay? Question number two, who benefited from Sheldon's scores? If you want to answer, please raise your hand. Naki parang nakikita ko siya tatawagin. Walang raise ng hand. Who benefited? Sino nag-benefit dun sa ginawa niya? Yes, Romel. Ang sarili niya lang, ma'am. Sarili niya. How about si, ano, si Howard? Yung bumili ng sword sa eBay. If kayo si Howard, uh, do you think mali pa rin yung ginawa ni Sheldon? Pasagot kayo ba? Anyone? Wala? Palagay nyo na kinabang din si Howard. Kasi bandang huli napunta sa kanya yung Sword of Azeroth. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, Paolo. Anong comment natin? Paolo. Sige, you can speak up. Kasi po, lumakas siya sa game. Ayaw mo talagang sasalita. O, oh, type lang ng type. Okay. Okay, so ang advantage ni ni Howard yung pang, yung bumili ng sword sa eBay. So meron na siyang Sword of Azeroth for the next game. Magbe-benefit din siya in the long run. Okay. Next question, who was hurt by the course of action? Anyone? Yung team. Okay? Yung umaasa sa kanya, especially si Raj at saka si Leonard na very invested dun sa team. Okay? So they feel betrayed. So sabi nga ni Leonard, who are you, kanya? Pinagpapalit mo kami sa pera, kanya. Could Sheldon have achieved his goal in a better way? If you are Sheldon, how would you achieve yung intention niya? Anyone? Mahirap talaga mag-online class. Ano kaya? Wala? Okay. It could be, pwede na lang, pwedeng i-propose ni Sheldon sa team kung ano yung gusto niya mangyari. 
And then, kapag na-achieve nila yung goal, which is claiming the sort of azeroth, pwede din maghati-hati sila sa pera. That's one course. But that would be all depending your answers, actually the answers for the questions would be depending kung ano yung paniniwala mo or what are your morals, what are your values. Yun yung uh, all about ethics. So the term ethics broadly describes the way in which we look at and understand life in terms of what is good, what is bad, or what is right, what is wrong. But necessarily, ethics is not really legally right. Mostly, it is morally right. Hindi porket uh, ethically wrong siya, pwede na siyang maging legally, legally wrong. Pwede na siyang sampahan ng kaso. No. Uh, sa Pilipinas, since marami tayong mga pinaniniwalaan or sinusundan na culture, parang, halimbawa, for a teacher na lang, kapag ka nag-short si madam ng short shorts, parang, eh, ang pangit naman tingnan nito, ang sagwa naman tingnan nito. They consider that as ethically wrong. But it's not morally wrong. Nag-shorts lang si madam, wala siyang ginawang masama. It's not legally wrong. Okay. On what basis na naging mali yung pag-shorts ni Madam? Depende yun sa paniniwala ng tumitingin. So, yun yung uh, meaning ng ethics. On how you look at a pers or your perspective in a particular specific uh, occasion in terms of if it's good, if it's bad. Okay? The term morality refers to, can someone read? Sibal. Sibal pabasa. Galaw-galaw din. Morality. In the law, ma'am. Na? The term ethics, birdly, Describes the way it, it which we look at the understand like in it terms of good and bad of right or wrong. The term morality refers to social conversions about, about right and wrong that are so widely shared that they come on become that basic for an established. Consensus. Consensus. Okay. So, ang basis ng morality over ethics, morality, this is a social convention. Ibig sabihin nun, parang napag-usapan na ng isang group. Sila yung nag-decide. Uh, the moral codes or moral grounds is established by a common consensus. Isa kayong grupo na nag-set nun nung uh, code na yon, That's why it's morally against it or morally um, applicable. So, ano ba yung grupong pinagsasabi natin or consensus? It could be a barangay. Sa so, barangay na to, acceptable yung uh, lalaki babae na makita sa daan. Okay? Sa ibang lugar, hindi acceptable na yung lalaki babae naglalakad sa daan na hindi mag-asawa. So, yun yung consensus. Depende do sa group or convention na nagsaset ng uh, moral codes or ethic codes. Okay. Question about that? Okay. So, anong difference ng ethics sa mor uh, moral codes? Ethic codes, it's uh, your perspective. Parang personal level. Moral codes is, again, uh, it's a, sa, depends sa organization or sa convention. Okay? Depends sa consensus. Kung saan ka nakabilong. Next. Each society forms a set of rules 
Pabasa, Bali. Each society form a set of rules that establish the boundaries of generally accepted behavior. These rules are the often expressed in a statement about how people should behave. And they if together to form the moral code by which society li lives. Okay, thank you, Bali. Moral theories are... Go go. Moral okay. theories are the framework we use to justify or clarify our position when we ask ourselves what should I do in this situation or what is right or wrong for me there are many moral theories and there is no one right theory thank you Bali so moral code as uh, mentioned earlier this is established by uh, a society where you are belong to okay so kung ano man yung um, organization na sinasamahan mo, doon nagkakaroon ng moral code. And moral theories are the frameworks wherein you base your beliefs or your decisions. However, as, uh, as a human and uh, human making connections, iba-iba yung organization na nasasamahan mo. You have your family. And then the barangay. And then you go to school. That's another society. Uh, when you go to work, that's another society. When you attend your religion, that's another society. So per society, meron silang nakaset na moral codes. Which is minsan overlapping, minsan opposing. Okay? So, doon nabubuo yung moral theories mo ngayon. So, meron kang mga decision making na ginagawa sa buhay mo na at one point, it could agree with your religion. But it will oppose your uh, family's value, your, the values of your family or vice versa. Meron kang mga decision na will be accepted by the society by the government, by the barangay, pero against your religion. So do you get my point? So each society, meron silang binibuild na moral codes. Your framework is based from the moral codes na yun. Get? Okay. Next. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we have a scenario here. Can you read the scenario, Aldrin? <clears throat> Kao lives in Laos and really enjoys watching movies. The only way to watch movies that he can afford is to buy the illegally pirated versions sold on the streets of Vientian, which he does when he has the money. Is what he does unethical. Okay. So for the, uh, according to the scenario, Kao... Uh, purchases illegal pirated versions on the streets of Yanshan. Ang tanong, is this ethical or is this unethical? So, the question is, yung ginagawa ba ni Kao, is this unethical according to you? If you could chat the answer, please. Everyone. How about the others? We are 34. 34 kay dyan. Pakichat po yung answer. Is it an ethical? Santos, no. Manalastas, no. Aris Gentle, no. Baldivino, no. Gamboa, no. 
Bali, no. Guevara, no. Maninang, no. Marinas, no. Martin, no. Navarro, no. Dimalanta, no. Kizon, no. Sibal, no. Figueroa, no. Hipólito, no. Ulat, no. Benny May, no. Leo, no. Patrick, no. Pedrano, no. Lorraine, no. Patubig. Uh, it is unethical. Dahil alam niyang illegal yon pero pinili pa din. Unethical. No, no, no. Ako, Giran, no. Ujong, no. Napa, no. Lopez, no. <clears throat> the question is, is it unethical? So, pag nag-no kayo, ibig sabihin, it is ethical. Ethically accepted. Naintindan <laughs> nyo? May reverse yung talong. Pero I guess, yung no ninyo, you mean this is unethical. Tama ba? O yun. Ethical yung talong kanina. So you mean by no, this is not acceptable. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Why? Why, why do you think? Ano saan yung sagot ni Kawiran? Alam niyang illegal. So, dahil illegally pirated. Yes, Kawiran? Why is it unethical for you? Uh, sorry, uh, katubig? Ma'am, kasi po parang kinukonsinti mo yung uh, paggawa ng hindi maganda ng ibang tao kapag uh, binibili mo, ma'am. Okay, so it's not an acceptable. Pero umamin kayo, ginagawa nyo? Yes, ma'am. Why? Yes, ma'am. Ka kasi mas doon ka makakamura. <laughs> Yun yung ethical niya, ma'am. <laughs> so, aware kayo na unethical siya? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, what do you tell yourself kapag gumagawa kayo ng mali? Kapag ginagawa niyo yun, what do you tell, how do you convince yourself na okay lang yan? Dead ma na lang. <laughs> Dead ma. Ujong, what do you tell yourself? Ano Kapag nag-download kayo? Na naman tayo nagkakasala ma'am, kaya ayos lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Patawarin kita, sir. Wala naman. <laughs> Yeah, minsan ganun yung reasoning natin. O ginagawa naman ng iba, okay lang yan. Until maging normalized na siya. Diba? Pero everyone is aware na unethical siya. Okay. That's not a problem. No one is judging. Unless mahuli ka. Scenario 2. Okay. Pakiread yung scenario 2, Mardo. Mamalayo po. Alayo. Uh, Lian. Kizon. I also really enjoyed watching movies and I'm a tourist in Laos. I buy the pirated one on the street to take back to Canada. I also know this helps the local economy. Is what I did unethical? Okay. So, another person did the same thing. Bumili siya ng pirated um, movies sa Laos. And then, dadali niya sa Canada. However, ang difference nito doon sa unang scenario, his intention is to help the economy of Laos. Kasi yung mga nagtitinda sa bangketa, that's their source of income. So, in thinking that he could help yung mga tindero sa bangketa, bumili siya ng uh, pirated movies. Question, is that unethical? Can you chat your answers, everyone? Unethical, ibig sabihin, not acceptable for you. Thank you, Kevin. The rest.
Kevin Manarang, an ethical, katubigan ethical, Navarro, an ethical, Aris, an ethical, Santos, an ethical, Guevara, ethical, Bali, an ethical, Parinas, an ethical, Pinzon, an ethical, Bagibino, an ethical, Napo, an ethical, Ujong, an ethical, Rosaline, an ethical, Marastas, an ethical, Gamboa, an ethical, Dimalanta, an ethical, Delavin, an ethical, Gamboa, an ethical, Tornato, an ethical, Togira, an ethical, Ulat, an ethical, Maninang, Hipolito, Domingo, Patrick Pangilinan, Alekino, Bautista, Navarro, Sibal, Martin, Benny May, an ethical. Judy, no, because ethics is one's perception. He or he, she thinks that what, on the good side or good outcome of what he or she does. So for Judy, it is acceptable. Figueroa, Kevin Duvera, reason na iba naman. Liza, neutral lang ma'am. Walang neutral dito. 1-0 lang tayo. Walang one half. May advantage po kasi yung ibang tao. Okay. So, naibang sagot, Guevara, De La Cruz, and Judy. So, most of you, same pa rin. I understand once an ethical, kahit ano pang reason, unacceptable para sa inyo. Correct? Pareho lang kayo na nilabag. You purchase illegal uh, movies. Whatever the reason is, whatever your intention behind that, it's still an ethical. That's, is that uh, the reason why uh, you answered an ethical? Yes, kumatang si Bali. Thank you, Bali. Okay. An ethical pa rin. And the others, they consider the reason. Like Judy, uh, sabi niya, um, the outcome or kung ano yung intention. Okay? Sabi ni Paolo, the ends that not, the ends does, the ends do not justify the means. Kaya it's unethical. Okay? So unethical din si Paolo. Okay? So, um, Guevara, bakit ethical? Aside from the reason na maiba lang. Yes, Guevara. Doc? Ay, sira mic mo. Mm -hmm. Is ka mo lublo? Kaya ang lakas ng loob mong sumagot eh. Next! Okay. So, who benefits? Scenario 1, nag-benefit is yung bumili. Scenario 2, ang nag-benefit is yung bumili at yung nagbenta. Who gets harmed? Sino ba yung napaano? Napeperwisyo? Yung movie companies po. Yes? Yung movie companies po. Ay, hindi ko marinig. Sino yun? Nagiging uh, nagkaroon ng harm ma'am yung mga ano, dumadaan sa tamang proseso ma'am. Yung talagang mayari ng mga ano ma'am. Yung may-ari ng movies, yung bumuibili ng movies, parang nalulugi sila. Movie companies. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yung nag-produce ng movie. O, oh, yung nag-produce yes, ng legit. movies. Okay. Thank you. What other ways can cow or uh, I can achieve our objectives? Other ways. Pangilinan, Patrick. What other ways can thou or I can achieve our objectives? Hiram ng Netflix account. That's one. Isumbong sa polis ma. Hindi, that's the consequence. The question is, uh, other way. Ibang paraan para 
ma-enjoy mo yung movie instead of buying illegal CDs. Mag-ipon, ma'am. Mag-ipon. Or you purchase the legally. Punta ka sine, go to Netflix. Okay. Eh, dun sa se second scenario, dalawa yung intention ni nung, uh, nung subject. Bumili, manood ng movie and tumulong. Yung one, we can achieve that by purchasing legal movies. Yung pangalawa, how can the subject achieve that? Sabi niya, gusto niya tumulong. So, ibang goods or magbigay na lang siya ng pera kung gusto talaga niya tumulong. Possible? Yun nga lang, matadoble siya. Okay, next question. What additional information would you need to evaluate whether this was an ethical decision? Ano yung mga kinonsider nyo when you made the decision kung ethical ba siya o hindi? Mom? Yes. Who? Raise your hand. Law. For Louis, it's the law. Status sa buhay ni Kao. Paano nangyari yan, Paolo? Paolo, sinarin niyo yung mic mo. Okay. So, kung status sa buhay ni Kao ang kinonsider mo, Paolo, sabihin natin average lang siya. Wala siyang ganong pambayad. Tulad natin, average lang, na, average lang tayo. So, ethically accepted na bumili ka nung level ng budget mo. If yun yung consider mo. Kung marami kang pera, tapos bumibili ka pa rin ng pirated, ah, iba na yun. Diba? Ripot, anak ang tamam. Oo. Oh. Kasi kaya lang naman tayo nagpa-purchase ng, ano, ng illegal kasi wala tayong budget, correct? Ba't naman natin gagawin yung mali kung afford naman natin? Afford naman natin. Yes, ma'am. Kasi ang sabi ni Paolo, yung status sa buhay ni Paolo, yung kinukonsider niya. So, if ganun, everyone can accept na okay lang yan. Yun, yun kasi yung afford niya. Okay? Ang basis naman ni Louie is the law. It's against the law. So, medyo ano siya doon, uh, firm siya doon na it's unethical because it's not legally accepted. Alright? So, you consider, uh, some of you will answer, oh, ethical kasi ginagawa ko rin naman yan. Depende sa beliefs mo or sa uh, society na kung saan ka nakabelong, kung ethical ba siya o hindi. So, that is uh, what is ethics about. And just um, a reminder, guys, when it comes to ethics discussion, walang tama, walang mali. Because it's a belief, it's your perception. I cannot say na mali yung pinaniniwalaan. Marami pa tayong mga scenarios cases na discuss along the way. Okay? So next is ethics in the business world. Okay, basa yung risk. Kimberly. Risk is a product of multiply, multiplying the likelihood of an event by the impact of its occur, occur, occurrence. Those if the likelihood of an event is high and its pull, pull in, yeah, huh? ne negative impact is large, the, the risk is considered great ethics has raised to the top of business against because the rest ako 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 said which enough 
uh, associated, which inappropriate behavior have included both in their likelihood and their full and negative impact. Okay, thank you, Kimberly. So, in a business world or sa industry, uh, laging calculated ang risk. So, the more risk, so the greater the risk, uh, the greater the ethical codes are being set. Bakit tayo nagsiset ng, uh, in Tagalog or in other terms, kaya nagsiset ng ethical codes or ethical conduct ang isang business is to prevent further risk. Kasi pagka pinabayaan nila yon, mas malulugi yung business nila. So, if you are hired sa isang company, one of the process before you are fully hired is to be in culture sa mga rules nila within the, or policies nila within the company. And yung policies na yon, if you will be checking that, not everything are legally aligned or nakabase sa laws. Some are nakabase sa on ano yung mga na-experience nila, ano na yung mga rules na dinevelop nila during uh, operations nila. So, one example is bawal mag-Facebook during work. It's not legally wrong. It's not against religion. It's not against uh, society law. Pero, sa company yon bawal. Why? Because the risk there is, uh, pag ginagamit mo yung oras mo sa pag-Facebook, nagiging loss yon para sa company. Okay? Pag uh, ginagamit mo yung oras mo sa pag-Facebook, bumababa yung productivity ng mga employees. So, yun yung risk para sa kanila. So, uh, they are calculating yung mga ganong type of risk and then from that, they set yung mga rules nila or code of conduct. Okay? So, in any type of business or any type of field or industry, there are um, code of conduct na nakaset lagi. So, why fostering good business ethics is important? Number one, Santos, Corbin. <coughs> to gain the to gain the goodwill of the community. <clears throat> so once na may good business ethics ang isang business company, therefore it is perceived as good by the community. Number two, Rio. Create an organization that operates cons consistently. Consistently. Oh. Thank you, Rio. Uh, once you have said or any company na, na meron siyang policies and code of contacts, meron silang rules or basis for decision making. Therefore, consistent. Ibig sabihin, oh, um, if employee A na huli nag Facebook, pwedeng grounds for uh, suspension. If employee B, kaya kamag-anak pa yan o may are pag nahuli ng Facebook, pwede, sa, pwede siyang ma-suspend. So that is the consistency kasi nakabase yun sa code of conduct nila. Number three, Benny May. To produce good business. Okay. So uh, thank you, Benny May. So good business, good pro uh, productivity of the employees, good outputs, na-achieve nila yung goals nila, so mas focus sila sa actual work nila. Number four, Maninang. To protect the organization and its employees from illegal actions. Okay. To protect organization and employees from legal actions. Uh, most of code of conduct is also pattern sa loss. So, halimbawa, 
na terminate yung isang employee dahil nahuli siyang na, uh, nanonood ng porn during work hours. Okay? So, that's a protection of the organization to the business. Kung wala silang code of conduct, tapos si employee na terminate na ganun, tapos tinignan ni employee na Uy, wala naman sa manual na pwede ako ma-terminate dahil lang sa ganun, pwede magsampa ng kaso si employee. So, that's illegal termination. Pero, nung uh, orientation pa lang, uh, na-advise sila ng HR, bawal itong mga to, ito yung set of rules natin. Nasa employee manual nila, ito yung set of rules natin. Kapag nahuli siya, pwede siyang tanggalin. Kung wala yung mga yun, hindi pwedeng tanggalin. That's illegal termination pwede siya magsampa ng kaso against the uh, company. Number five, Maris. To avoid un unfavorable publicity. Okay, so unfavorable pub publicity. So, same with number one, if they are conducting good business ethics, they are perceived as good so, ano man mangyari, if it's uh, by the book, by the code of conduct, by the law, walang problema doon. Kasi they are setting a standard. Next, improving corporate ethics. So, since uh, it is established that ethics or setting a uh, code of conduct is important for business, there, there is a department now na nagsaset ng mga ganyan rules. So, to improve business ethics, one uh, way to do that is to appoint a corporate ethics officer. So, siya yung, uh, para siya yung prefect ng isang school. Siya yung nagsaset, nag-observe ng mga code of conduct sila. Number two is, ethical standards are set by the board of directors. Uh, actually, not only by the board of directors, but also by the employees, by past uh, incidents, or uh, by the management. Okay? So, they consider all the players in a business entity to set kung ano yung mga standards na susundan nila. Number three, establishing a corporate code of ethics. So, it is important to establish corporate code of ethics, update your corporate code of ethics from time to time, which is your number four, conducting social audits. So, if may incident na nangyaring gano'n, may nireklamo na ganito, sexual harassment, pero ang nagreklamo, lalaki, nareklamo niya yung boss niyang babae, will that be uh, under magpapasama ba yun sa code of ethics nila which is not the normal usually lala, babae nagre-reklamo for sexual harassment e paano kung lalaki this time, magpapasama ba yun i-update ba natin yung corporate code of ethics na yun it's not, kasama na ba siya sa law okay? so yun yung mga social audits na ginagawa sa isang company Number five, requiring employees to, to, to take ethics training. So, ethics training usually happens during orientation, inculturation to the company, and kapag mayroong bagong uh, update from the HR. So, pag mag-update ng code of ethics, HR will do a seminar on kung saan, tungkol saan yung bagong update na yun. And number six, including ethical criteria in employee appraisals. So in some companies, if wala ka nilabag na uh, nilabag na kahit ano from their code of ethics, that's part of your bonus, that's part of your pro, uh, promotion. It's in, uh, considered or, yeah, it's considered in your promotion. Okay, so example, si employee A, uh, maganda yung records niya, candidate for promotion. However, 
meron siya mga absences. Employee B, meron siya nilabag na code of, isang code of conduct, perfect attendance. So, mag-away ngayon sila, parehong may butas, pero pareho sila ang candidate for promotion. Ngayon, titinan nila kung ano yung mas ethically acceptable from, between employee A and employee B. Okay? Yung gravity, kung malala ba yung ginawa nilang uh, problema or is it really affecting the company. So, this six, uh, six ways to improve the corporate ethics of a company. Next, seven steps to summarize or summarize or seven steps for in ethical decision making. So number one, Pabasa, Mikaela. Get the facts. Number two, Kaugiran. Identify, identify stakeholders and their positions. Number three, kabilangan. Lahat sa kabilangan. Navarro, number three. Consider the consequence of the decision, of your decision. Thank you. Number four, Rosaline. With various guidelines and principles. Number five, Judy Ann. Develop and evaluate options. Thank you. Number six, Delavine. Review your decision. And number seven, Aris. Evaluate the results of your decision. Okay, thank you. So those are the seven steps in uh, making an ethical decision making. Get the facts. Uh, scenario one and scenario two. Pinag-aralan nyo muna kung ano yung mga given natin. Number two. Identify stakeholders and kung ano yung position nila. Sino mo yung mga tao involved? Ano ba yung pinanggagalingan nila? Uh, are there person of authority? Ano yung involvement nila doon sa situation? Number three, consider consequences of your decision. So if you're making decision, syempre, you also consider yung consequences. Ano bang may impact nito? dun sa mga taong involved. Ano bang magiging impact nito sa organization na kinabibilangan mo? Number four, weigh various guidelines and principles. Dito po mapasok yung moral frameworks. Ano, yung pinag, uh, ano ba yung basis natin? Saan tayo mag-base? Is it your perception? Your personal perception? Is it the company's code of conduct? Is it your religion? Is it the government laws? Okay? So, yun yung mga guidelines and principles na binibasis mo. Develop and evaluate your options. You develop your options according to the framework given and kung ano yung magiging consequence. Minsan, when you're making an ethical decision, marami kang magiging options to take. Okay? And then, you consider kung ano yung gravity ng consequence. Ano yung, ano yung pinaka-less impact? Ano yung hindi masyadong magiging malaking issue sa company? So, these are, uh, this is number five. Number six is review your decision. One way of reviewing your decision is you consult someone who can understand your situation mo. Or, if it's in a company setting, you review the decision with the HR or the management who knows kung ano yung code of conduct. And number seven, evaluate the results of your decision. Okay, so these are the ethical 
decision-making steps. And um, the following now are the frameworks that we base or yung mga, the usual framework na ginagamit in decision or ethical decision-making. So number one is relativism. Say, pabasa, relativism. Relativism is a theory that there is no universal moral norm of right or wrong. According to this theory, different individuals or groups of people can have completely opposite views of a moral problem, and both can be right. Two particular kinds of relativism and subject, subjective relativism and culture Relativism. Okay, relativism. So, relativism. Relative. Yeah, thank you, Asay. So, relativism could be subjective and or culture relativism. So, ano bang meron sa relativism? Sabi niya, there's no universal moral norm. Wala tayong basis. Except kung ano lang yung involvement mo. Do you happen to have... Um, Nandawa sa classroom, meron isang uh, nababalitaan na maldita. Hmm, Sama-sama na ang galing ito, napakasungit. Pero meron mga tao na, I don't care kung masungit siya, as long as hindi ako affect, apektado. That's relativism. Ano yung involvement ko doon? Doon ka nabibase ko, uh, kakaibiganin mo ba siya o hindi? Kung mali ba yung ginagawa niya, hindi. Depen wala akong pakilang kung anong ginagawa niya mali. Basta, hindi ako yung apektado. Relativism. So, subject relativism. Somebody read? JL? John Lloyd Domingo. Maingay po. Mm. Harry. Alerty. Santos, yes, read. Thank you. <coughs> Subject relativity, relativism holds that each person decide right and wrong for him himself or herself. <clears throat> this notion is captured in the particular expression, what's right for you may not be right for me. <clears throat> the case for the subject relativism, the case versus subject rela relativism. <clears throat> okay. Case mass promotion during COVID is ethical. Okay, thank you, Corbin. So, subject relativism, depende yon sa sarili mo if it's right or wrong. We have two cases for subject relativism. One is for subject relativism or ibig sabihin, it's in your favor. I agree na okay lang yan kasi I benefit. The case versus subject relativism Parang sabi niya, bakit ba kayo nakikila? Mas alam mo pa sa akin. Okay? So that is versus subject relativism. Who are you to tell me kung ano yung tama? Alam mo pa sa akin. That's versus subject relativism. So, subject is subjective. Ikaw, ano yung decision mo if it's, uh, ano ba siya para sa'yo? If it's right or wrong? So we have a question here or an issue regarding subject relativism. Case as mass promotion during COVID, is this ethical and ethical? Shout your answers. Oh, sige. Ethical. <laughs> Masaya to.
Ay, si Adrian lang yung sumagot. Adrian, ethical. Ras, Russell, an ethical. Bali, Bali, is it ethical? It's an ethical an for Bali. An ethical for Kelvin, an ethical Rommel. Justine, an ethical. An ethical Harry, Judy, an ethical. Ethical Aldrin. Gumalog, an ethical. Sibal, an ethical. Tornel, an ethical. Hippolyto, an ethical. Mikael, an ethical. Erwin, an ethical. Guevara, ethical. Marian Ulat, ethical. An ethical, Aris. An Rikino, an ethical. Paolo, an ethical. Ano pa ba? Mama, ano po yung mass promotion? Uh, mass promotion is lahat kayo papasa. Walang babagsak. No matter what the results are. Kasi considering, what is considered is the pandemic. An ethical. For Paolo, it's ethical. For Aries, it's an ethical. Paolo, why did you consider this ethical? Ikaw ba yung walang mic? Walang, walang mic si Paolo. Sino ba yung ethical dito? Um, Ujong, ethical ka, di ba? Why ethical? Ma'am, libo muna, ma'am. <laughs> Bakit ethical yung sagot mo? Wala nang mali doon. Tatanong ko lang. Kasi ma'am, uh, kahit ano yung palagay ko, kasi kahit ano yung estado namin, kailangan na nagpasa lahat kasi lahat apektado sa COVID. Okay, so you consider yung situation na COVID na... Yes, ma'am. Mapetado lahat. Okay, so wala naman may kagustuhan na mangyaring COVID. Sudyante lang kami. Ipasa nyo kami. Okay. Thank you, uh, Aldrin. Lorraine, bakit ang ethical? Nasaan si Lorraine? Lorraine Bautista? O, balikan kita Lorraine. Mikay, bakit ang ethical? Hi, hey, ma'am. Paulit po, ma'am, yung tanong, ma'am. Yung uh, sa mass promotion po. Oh, yung mass promotion, sabi mo unethical siya. Bakit unethical siya para sa iyo? Hmm. 
hindi ba nag hindi ba acceptable na mass promotion during covid yung mga estudyante Sa mga nagsumagot ng ethical, that means unacceptable para sa inyo yung mass promotion during COVID or pandemic. Why is that? What's the reason bakit nyo kinonsider siyang unacceptable? Paolo Rian from B. Uh, unethical po kasi po. Uh, kasi po ma'am... Yes, kailangan natin yung mass promotion na papasa tayo. Kaso, uh, papasa nga tayo. Kaso, wala naman po tayong malalaman. So, mas mabuti ng unethical na mag-aral na lang. Uh, <clears throat> ma yes, mahirap yung kalagayan nyo yung but kailangan natin matuto. Hindi lang puro ano. Hindi lang yung basta-basta papasa. Hindi naman ganun kadali. Lahat kailangan pagkirapan. So, yeah, para kay Paolo, ang basis niya is yung learning. Okay? Kailangan may natutunan to consider na pumasa ka. Despite kung ano man yung situation na nandun ka. Is it, kung may pandemya wala, basta natuto ka, you are to be promoted. Okay? So, para wala naman acceptable. It could be your answers, I mean. Pwedeng, uh, for other people, yes, mass promotion. Nung mag-mass promotion tayo, consider naman natin yung mga estudyante. Nahirapan sila ngayon. Okay? Huwag na natin silang pahirapan. I-promote na lang natin sila. Okay? Pero para sa iba, um, like for Paolo, na isang estudyante, as student yung perception niya, hindi din na niyang uh, aspect is yung pagiging estudyante. May tutunan ba ako o wala? Kung wala, I do not uh, I do not have the right to be promoted. Hindi naman ako nag-aral. Hindi naman ako nag-effort. So bakit ako mapopromote for the next level? Okay? Sabi ni Judy, as a student for me, it is must pursue higher education to acquire knowledge, skills, attitudes, values, and able us to deal with the challenges and uncertainties of the world. Most believe. Thank you, Judy. Okay? So, yun. Uh, pwede kayong mahate. But the, uh, the subject is, uh, the point in subject relativism, kung ano yung mali, kung ano yung tama para sa'yo. Walang Walang tama o walang maling sagot. Basta kung ano yung pininiwalaan mo, yun lang yun. Next, cultural relativism. This is the second uh, class under relativism. Cultural relativism is the ethical theory that the meaning of right and wrong rests with the society's actual moral guidelines. Depende dun sa society that you are belong to or the organization that you belong to. It's not subjective na. Hindi lang ikaw yung consider mo. You're considering the culture that you are in. So, these guidelines may vary widely from place to place, from time to time. Case. Can you read the case? Nail? No nail? Case. You are riding in a car drive by your BFF. He hit a pedestrian in a private subdivision at 12 noon. You knew he was going at least 3, 35 kilometer per hour, per hour in an area, area in a place where maximum allowance speed was 20 kilometer per hour. There was no witness other than you. His lawyer told you that if you would testify under under oh. Pat oh. Oh, that he Oath that he was driving 20 km per hour, you would have, you would save him from serious consequence. Oh, Naintindan niyo yung ano, senaryo. Mami English siya po, Ada, kanyan. Okay. So, nasa kotse kayo, nag-drive yung uh, best friend mo. Kaso, si best friend nag-overspeeding. 35 km per hour. Ang maximum, ang allowable lang dun sa village is 20 km per hour. However, may nangyayari. 
may natamaan siyang pedestrian or nasa, nabunggo niya yung tumatawid. Literal, tinatagalog. Okay, walang witness. Ikaw lang. Question. Will you tell the truth or tell a lie? Shut your answers. So, if you tell the truth, ang mangyayari, makukulong yung best friend mo. If you tell a lie, you will save your best friend. Oh my God, kawawa yung mga kaibigan nito. <laughs> <laughs> yung mga nagsasayang ng telatrot dyan. <laughs> Mababawasan ng kaibigan. Tell the truth, tell a lie. For Paolo, lie. Judy and truth. Ulat, truth, pangilinan. Truth, Kizon, H. Manalastas, tell the truth. Kabilangan, truth. Lian, truth. Paolo, truth. Maris, truth. Ujong, lie. Kevin Guevara Truth, Maninang Truth, Bali Truth, Justin Truth, Medrano Truth, Valdivino Lai, Manarang Truth, Gomerson Truth. Mapapakiusapan naman yung nabangga eh. Louis Truth, Fernando Truth, Navarro Truth, Domingo Truth, Panganes yo. Rosalind Truth, Sibalay, Hipolito Truth, Benny May Truth, Domingo Lai, Bautista Lai, Pedroa Truth, Kelvin Truth, Maris. Hindi naman po kabawasan. May pinaguhutan tong si Maris eh. Hindi naman po kabawasan sarili natin po magsasabi po tayo ng totoo. Kahit ikakapahamak ng iba, mas mabuti na po yun para hindi na maulit pa. Adubig Truth, Navarro Truth, Adrian, tell the truth. Kasi may chance pa na mapababa yung kaso. Lopez, aware naman po siguro siya sa allowable speed and village. Being a friend doesn't mean na you need to be always on your side. Lopez, uh, truth, Okay. Guys, hindi na matay yung pedestrian, ha? Buhay yung pedestrian. <laughs> Siguro ako, I will tell a lie. Pero pag namatay yung pedestrian, I will tell the truth. Pwede, di ba? Pwede pa yun. <laughs> so, walang sinabi dun sa case natin kung namatay. Buhay pa siya. In, the, since this is cultural relativism in the Philippines, kapag ka mag-anak mo, kaibigan mo, yung suspect or possible suspect, it is acceptable na kampihan mo yung kamag-anak mo or yung kaibigan mo. That's cultural relativism. <clears throat> what are to consider sa cultural relativism? Okay? Siyempre, yung culture. Kung kaaway na bunggo, ma'am, tell a lie. <laughs> Pwede din, di ba? <laughs> Depende sa gravity. Halimbawa, yung na bunggo, natomba lang siya, tapos gas-gas. Oh. Yun yung mga kinoconsider mo. Pero halimbawa nga, namatay, o oh, possible, tell the truth tayo. Tapos, kamahan mo na lang yung kaibigan mo sa 
tulungan. Pero the consequences there are, kapag nag-tell the truth ka, lahat ng kaibigan mo, iiwanan ka. Ganito naman to. Hindi man lang niya dinamayan yung tropa natin. Pag nag-telalay ka, marami kang kaibigan, pero makakonsensya ka. Yan, galit na naman si Maris. Cups lang, Maris, para ramdam. That is based sa... Uh, ang basis ni Maris is yung rules at saka yung yung law. Okay? Kung kaibigan mo talaga, maintindihan ka man. Okay. So, depende yun nga sa culture. Pero sa Philippine setting, um, acceptable na kapag kaibigan mo, kapag anak mo, parang matik na, doon sa kanila kakakampi. Okay? Acceptable yun. Hindi naman sinasabing hindi mali. Ang sinasabi natin, acceptable siya. Another case, abortion. Is abortion ethical and ethical? Unethical. And ethical, and ethical. Manalas na sa unethical. Paul, unethical. Dumalan tayo, ethical. Well, di ba yun unethical? Unethical, unethical, unethical. Unethical. Lorraine, unethical. Benny may unethical. Si Bal, unethical. De La Cruz, unethical. Maninang, unethical. Martin, unethical. De La Vin, unethical. Unethical, Manara. Christian country. Bali and ethical. Marian and ethical. Okay. So given na uh, it's a Catholic school, it's a Christian country, most of your answers is unethical. However, in other countries like the United States, abortion is ethically accepted, especially for some scenarios like it's um, parang birth defect, parang uh, during pregnancy pa lang, uh, nakita na na may problema yung bata, they do abortion. Kesa na, the reason why is, kesa pa ipanganak yung bata na may birth defect, tapos luma, hindi na, wala naman siyang quality of life, lumpo lang siya habang buhay. So they do abortion. It's ethically acceptable. If you look at it, may point naman sila. Kasi kung lumpo lang naman yung bata, kulang siya ng legs na ipapanganak, ano yung quality of life niya? Hindi na ganyan. Another scenario is if it's a product of rape. So, ang um, reason nila, it's not someone who, parang hindi siya bunga ng partnership. The child will just uh, remind me kung ano yung dinanas ko. Yes, Marian, why is it ethical for you? Ikaw na iba. Ipampon na lang, okay? It could be, yes, Adrian. Sa atin, since we condemn abortion, uh, for the cases of rape, sige, panganak mo, if, if the reason is, if it reminds you kung ano yung masama nangyari sa'yo, then, just leave the kid. Ipaampun mo na lang. Dali mo sa ampunan. Just don't do the abortion. Mariam, do you have a specific reason? Shane, do you have a specific reason? Why did you choose ethical? Why is it ethical for you? Okay, so you see, abortion is, if you, if you will look at abortion, cultural relativism will be applied. Depende sa culture mo. 
uh, if the culture is U.S. culture, it's ethically accepted for you. But since ang um, culture natin is Filipino culture, Christianity, ako sa Diyos, that's our culture, it's unethical for us. Depende sa sitwasyon, kabilangan. Bakit kabilangan? Anong depending sitwasyon? Kung mayaman ka, ma'am, ano ma'am, um, kaya mong, uh, mong palakihin yung bata. Kasi kaya mo? Palaka. Kaya mong palakihin. Oo. Oh. Pag may pera. Pero kung wala kang pera, ma'am, baka abortion yun sa sakali. Ah, uh, okay. Yun. Uh, that's another reason for, yeah, thank you for bringing that up, uh, Kamilangan. It's another reason for in the U.S. Uh, unwanted pregnancies, yung hindi sila prepared financially, uh, hindi nila pinlano na buntes. Okay? So, imbes na, yun, walang quality of life, mahirapan lang siya, yung parents, yung family, yung bata, so they choose abortion. Okay. So, walang mali, walang tamang sagot. Another issue. RH bill. RH bill is condom. O sige, let's focus on condom. Wala akong masyadong alam sa RH bill. The use of condom. Uh, sex education. Ethical and ethical. Ethical for Rommel. Ethical for Delavin. Bumalog. Yun, acceptable. I wonder why. Baldivino, ethical. Hipolito, ethical. Jensel, ethical. Pangilinan, ethical. Udyong, unethical. Unethical, Maris. Trio, ethical. Jam, ethical. Say, ethical. Unethical. Ethical. Sibal, ethical. Mikai, ethical. Unethical, Lorraine. Unethical for Lopez. Martin, ethical. Ethical. John Lloyd Ethical. Maris, your answer is an ethical. Why? Kaya bisa. Um, kapag po kasi pinurso sa ano yan, sa Philippines, syempre po yung ano, yung iba, parang ano? Naglag ba tayo? Hindi ba parang ano, yung ay, pwede naman palang, ay, legal naman palo dito sa Philippines, pwede po natin. Yes. Yung so, parang itatry po nila, ma'am, ganun. Hmm. So, are you... Ano, okay, go. Go, go. Sorry, sorry. Hanggang, hanggang sa, syempre, ma'am, yung ibang bata, na, or yung mga naka, na, ano? Sige, ma'am, pwede na ito. <laughs> An ethical last. RH bill is Lona, which favors sex education and uh, birth controls, pills, condom. What I think what is Marisa trying to say is, though it's Lona, it's still unethical or not acceptable kasi it's possible na maabuso. Tama, Maris? Lalo na yung mga bata. Yes, ma'am. Sino yung mga ethical? Mikay, why is it ethically accepted? Uh, ethical po, ma'am, kasi siyempre po, ma'am, nasa choice po nila yun, ma'am, eh. Uh, kasi may mga iba po, ma'am, na lalaki na parang yung, yung sa sex po, ma'am, parang ano lang sa kanila, ma'am, yung iba hindi nila, ma'am, sa seryoso, ganon. Eh, basta, ma'am. Baka ano, may masabi. Galit ka na agad. Puro na kami. 
Ano na kang boss ng TikToker so to TME paliwanag. Pasanting na na po may istorya. Ali do bundok mag-discuss din tao ng Arene. Ang galit tagad. Marine ako, Mame. Ay, matuwa na kayo, ne. Sa... Ilan taon na? Lalo mo na yan, Mikay. Alam niyo, alam niyo na yan. Tension. O si Mami yung iba. Yung iba ma'am kasi mga protection nila yun ma'am para kung hindi kung na, kung ano po uh, nakipag sila ma'am parang uh, para hindi po sila makabuntis ma'am ganun. Balo, balo parang wala kayo. silang parang wala silang ano ma'am uh, obligation ma'am di sa di sa tao ma'am ganun. Yes, thank actually, you ma'am nila. Okay, thank you Mika. Actually um Sam people consider RH bill as pro women it's a protection uh, of women against unwanted pregnancies if you cannot ang um, um, point ng other people if you cannot stop other people to have sex at least be protected okay pwedeng sa laban yes go maris laban tayo sa ma'am guys ali kapag ma'am kasi ano pinupulso natin yung gantong ano Siyempre ma'am, mag-abuso na po rin aliwang lalaki. Pwede na lamang po mag-banyo, maanta. Wala po kailangan, kailangan mag-sex nga kung ali naman ready, maanta. Okay. Since it's uh, acceptable na in the society, yun, anong nangyayari? It's, it, there will be abuse. Pero without the RH bill, wala bang abuse when it comes to sexual activities? Para bang yon yun tinitinan nila. And um, I think uh, Maris is also trying to say is since meron ng ganyan, okay lang yan. So parang dumadami yung premarital sex. Dahil hindi naman mauhuli, wala na mauguntes. So, they do premarital sex or sex outside marriage. Huwag makipag-sex kapag di pa handa makapagpamilya. Kung handa ka na, magkaanak. Kahit wala ng kundom, ayos lang. O, Jegs, ne. Kapag pagkanita, ne. Anak ka pa itong. Kas, uh, dun sa statement ni Aldrin, may pamilya ka na, mag-asawa na kayo. But some, yung ibang mag-asawa, they, they use birth control. Kasi they, parang they consider kung ilan yung magiging anak nila. Or ayaw nila mag-anak nang hindi nila kaya supportahan financially. So, halimbawa, um, dalawa na anak nila. But, kasama sa uh, mag-asawa is they do sex. Acceptable yun, di ba? Mag-asawa, they do sex. However, Yes, ma'am. When they do sex, possible na babuntis. Madagdagan yung anak nila. Kung hindi nila naman kaya ng budget nila na madagdagan yung anak nila, that's why they result to uh, birth controls or condom or pills. Huwag makipag-sex kung hindi nila kaya buhay ng marami. Mahirap yan, Andre. Diba, Romel? Diego, ma'am, bata. Mahirap na, yun. Ma'am. Huwag daw makipag-sex. Uh, Ayan, ma'am. Ready Ayun ko man niya. Ma'am. Ready ko, ma'am. Ready. <laughs> so, ready ka na. Walang sex. Wa, ma'am. Ala na. Eh, kaya man kailangan to. Ah, okay. Tapos, andyan lang si misis. Andyan yung anak mo. Okay ka na. Wa, ma'am. Okay. Marian, kahit Sabi... naman... Ay, sorry. Go ahead. Sabi ko, Pikebab, kahit may itong niya yung anak mo, okay na ako eh. Kasi masakit yung biye. Pero nung datang-datang, manta mo. Wa, ma'am, kung pagkalooban. Hmm. Next, uh, Marian, kahit naman, ma'am, kasi wala yan, meron pa din naman abusive sa mga ganyan. Plus, sa mag-asawa, ma'am, what if hindi pa sila ready? So, Marian, ano ba to? Acceptable ba yung RH bill sa'yo? Unacceptable. Paolo, I think po ma'am, kailangan din natin dagdagan kaalaman sa bagay na gano'n to prevent din po. Pero I agree. Okay. 
So, Paolo is um, more on the sex education part. Sa so, sex education part naman ng RH Bill, this is uh, pushing discussing sex sa high school para maging educated yung mga Pilipino when it comes to sex. So, if you are educated, you know what to do, you know what uh, what not to do, uh, prevent STDs, prevent unwanted uh, pregnancies, prevent sex. You, if talagang na-achieve yung pinaka full outcome niya is to prevent sex outside marriage. So, nag a si Paolo kasi yung tinitinan niya is yung sex education. Maris, parang kawalan na respeto sa babae kung papayag tayo makipag-sex kahit may trust. Okay, hinugutan na ni Maris. Sex lang gusto, ayaw ng obligasyon. Yan si Gart. Okay. Okay. Okay, so yun. Again, RH bill could be acceptable or unacceptable for you. Next issue. Polygamy. Ethical and ethical. Pangilinan. Romel. Meaning Romel, kaya, matwa. Yes, ma'am. Napanyiran na ang Patrick, oh. Bakit, ma'am? Ma'am, na, ma na, ano po yung polygamy? Polygamy is multiple partners, open relationship. Pero, multiple partners? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Itaik, ma'am. May Justin. Mag-ala Muslim yan. Dakal niya ka nung buring asawa na na na. Unethical, unethical. Unethical, unethical, unethical. Bakit kaya unethical? Sa mata lang ng Diyos, Mama Marina. Wow! Ethical sa mga Muslim na lalaki. Unethical. Pero pag Muslim, ethical. Kasama ba yun, Ma'am, sa DO for BF lang? Mag-asawa na. Pareho. Same lang. Mag-asawa, hindi mag-asawa. Polygamy. <laughs> o, oh, stick to one daw si Justin. Saka sa mato si Maris, ba't ang dami mong tropang muslim? Ano ethical, panginginan? Ma'am Kai, ma'am, Cristo Rey po. Atin po kasi yung stay in na muslim kami. Ah, Oo, oh, maraming ang ano yun dan. Actually, sa kapas, iba-iba na eh. An halo, hindi na purong kapas. Ang dami ng ibang lugar. Kaya ma'am Kai, neutral. Kaya <laughs> ka neutral? Pero caps lock. <laughs> okay. So, Jam, bakit ang ethical? Nasa si Jam. Jam, bakit ang ethical yung polygamy para sa'yo? Mariam, ethical. Gusto kayong mga sagot ni Mariam. Hindi mo kailangan ng multiple na asawa kasi di naman di multiple ang puso. <laughs> mga kamate? Shane, bakit ethical? Bumalo. If both party po, if lahat po ng party is okay naman po sa ganun, edi goods lang din po siya. Okay. Depende rin naman po ka sa kanya kung okay po. Mm -mm. Okay. So, yun yung point mo. Uh, gumalog, bakit ethical? Huwag ano ma'am. Hindi pa mag-boyfriend siya. Ay, hindi pa mag-asawa. Pwede naman. 
okay? Sabi ni Saif, para sa mga Muslim, it's ethical. So, dun po mapasok yung cultural. For Muslim, it's ethically accepted as long as you can provide for your multiple wives or multiple partners. Uh, for shame, it doesn't concern any religion. It only concerns yung party involved. As long as all parties aware sila dun sa relationship, they, uh, it's okay for them so, uh, uh, na magkaroon ng iba pang partner, acceptable yung setup nila, who are we to judge? Sila yon, hindi tayo. Okay? Para kay guard, isa lang daw yung puso, kay isang, isang asawa lang, isang mong jowa lang. Ito, itong gusto ko marinig. Marian, na maraming hugot sa Facebook. Bakit unethical? Ito na yung chance mo, girl. Hugutan mo na to. Marian. Marian, at ka ba? Piling ko wala ka. O. Oh. O, oh, bakit etik an unethical sa'yo? Hindi mo ba matatanggap na meron siyang, meron kang kahate? Tapos ikaw din, pwede kang magdalawang jowa. Hindi ba pwede yun? Payagan mo siyang magdalawang jowa, tapos ikaw magdalawang jowa ka din. Gusto mo wari yun, mama, ikaw. <laughs> e paano ako, ano? Kayong mag-jowa, nag-agree kayo na, o oh, sige, well, allowed ka, allowed siya. Ayaw mo yun. <laughs> okay. Marakal niya boyfriend ni ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, pagkita ka. <laughs> May bawasan na lapin eh. May mga COVID na lang. Okay, so yun yung uh, cultural relativism. Another example of cultural relativism, um, if you are not aware, Sa atin, acceptable yung babae is nag-drive ng sasakya, nag-drive ng kotse. Pero sa Saudi, it's not acceptable. It's unethical for a woman to drive in Saudi. Pero lately, bago lang yun, uh, parang inalaw na rin nila yung uh, babae na mag-drive in Saudi. That's cultural. It's not about religion. It's about the culture. Babae, dito sa atin, pwede mag-drive ng kotse, pero parang ang weird kung mag-drive siya ng tricycle, mag-drive siya ng bus. Culture. Okay? So, cultural relativism. Ang tindihan po? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Next, the divine command theory. Somebody read, Aris? It's based on the idea that good actions are those aligned with the will of God and bad actions are those contrary to the will of God. The divine command theory is based on obedience, not reason case. The Jehovah's Witnesses do not eat blood and do not allow blood transfusion. The members of the English and the Christo or INC do not eat blood but allows blood but allows blood transfusion. The Catholic Church allows both. both. Some in evangelical Christians do not eat blood. Okay. Thank you, Aris. So for the second uh, moral framework, which is divine command theory. This is all about religion. And ang basis ng code of conduct nila is holy book or whatever whatever book yung ginagamit nila in their religion. So we have a case here. Um, for some religion, they're not allowed to eat blood. For Jehovah Witness, they do not eat blood. English ni Cristo, they do not eat blood. Um, 
some evangelical Christians do not eat blood. For Catholic, they allow eating of blood. Um, blood transfusion is not allowed in Jehovah's Witness. Sobrang sacred, hindi mo pwedeng kainin, hindi pwedeng ilipat. Um, INC, pwedeng blood transfusion, pero hindi pwedeng kumain ng blood. Catholic, okay lang kumain ng blood, okay lang blood transfusion. Evangelical Christians, uh, do not eat blood. Okay? So, ang, ang basis nila is kung ano yung interpre interpretation ng religion nila sa though pare, I think pare-pareho lang naman na Bible yung uh, basis ng Christian. Interpretation na yung uh, differences dito. So, for the divine comment, uh, command theory, it's not about what your culture, kung ano yung acceptable part ng society nyo. This uh, the divine co command theory based on what is written or what is in the uh, holy book. If it's against the will of God or if it's uh, aligned with the will of God. So it says that divine command theory is based on obedience, not on the reason. Okay? So, yun yung divine command theory according to kung ano yung nasasabi ng religion. May mga iglesia ba dito? Yes, marami. So, hindi natin pati debate kung acceptable po yung pag uh, yung pagkain ng blood o hindi. Ha? Yung, yung hinuguan o hindi. Is it ethical and ethical? Hindi natin debate yan. Because that is uh, what your religion states or kung ano yun yung sinusunod nyo sa religion nyo. Okay? Next is ethical egoism. Nadwaya pa mo ako kung ano. Christian. Walang mic si Christian. Justine. Pabasa. Hindi ang mga pag-type sa laptop. Okay. Justine Pabustan, babasa ethical egoism. Sira po mic niya. Okay. Ethical egoism. Bali, pabasa. Ethical egoism is the philosophy that each person should focus exclusively on his or her self-interest. In other words, according to ethical egoism, the morality right action for a person to take in particular situation is the action that will provide that person with the maximum long-term benefits. Okay, thank you, um, Bali. For ethical egoism, from the word ego or self, ang consideration mo for decision making is kung ano yung benefit na makukuha mo. Your interest. Yun lang yung basis mo for decision making. So we have a case here, the like that you don't like. So example, when you go to a restaurant to eat, you will surely order the food you really like. However, there are several instances that in using our Facebook account, somebody would request us, palike naman. In response, we would like to, we would be forced to like something or yung page nila. So the above situation shows an example of ethical egoism. Kahit labag siya or nafo-force ka lang to like a page, to like a picture that is requested of you, ililike natin yun. Why? Because in the future, we can request yung friends natin to like kung ano man yung ipapalike natin. Status, page, paninda, pa-share, picture. So, yun yung long-term benefit nyo doon. Okay? Kahit na against, sa, against, against yun sa initial uh, belief mo na force ka na lang, hindi ko naman talaga like, na-like ko pa din. Why? Later on, baka ako naman yung humingi na favor. 
Okay? So, personal interest, yung kinoconsider sa ethical egoism. Next, conceptual consequentialism. Malalang, can you read? Do you have a mic? Apa. Okay, thank you. I miss you. <laughs> miss you. The consequence, hey, the consequence of an action justify the moral acceptance acceptability of a means taken to reach the end, it is the consequence of an action which determines whatever or not the action is moral, the result of the action is moral, the result of action prevail over any other consideration, simply stated, the ends justify the means. Alterization believes in the greatest happiness of the greatest number. The more people who benefit from a particular action, the greater is good. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Okay, for conceptualism, consequentialism, this is about kung ano yung magiging consequence. Uh, Robin Hood, the end justifies the means. So, si Robin Hood, ethical and ethical. Alam niyo naman story ni Robin Hood, no? Ethical and ethical. An ethical Robin Hood. Pabustan, an ethical. Bali, an ethical. Pastel, an ethical. Dimalanta, an ethical. Lian, an ethical. An ethical, ni Kai. Tunggan na kada rin ka Gram and ethical, civil and ethical, lapo and ethical, hipolito and ethical. <laughs> Ding dong dantes and ethical. <laughs> Pujong and ethical. Rio and ethical, chain and ethical, pangilin and ethical. Kaugir and ethical, manarang and ethical. Okay, for Robin Hood, ang nangyayari is, di ba naginakaw siya sa mayayaman and then ibibigay niya yung mga ninakaw niya sa may hirap. For, uh, for other people, that's ethically accepted because the, uh, the end justifies the means. Yung result, which is end, yung pagbibigay niya sa may hirap. Yung means, yung paraan. So, uh, basta yung outcome, Accepted siya, wala akong pakialam kung paano siya ginawa. That's consequentialism. Okay. For most of you, it's unethical pag nanakaw pa rin siya. Okay. Uh, I-base natin siya sa, sana walang kamag-anak ni Mayor Raycat sa inyo. Pero hindi ko sinasabing si Mayor Raycat to. Example, for a mayor, everybody knows na yung isang mayor na yon is corrupt. Kaso, uh, accepted na siya as mayor as long as meron silang nakikitang improvement sa bayan nila. Okay? Compare with another corrupt mayor na wala naman nagiging result sa bayan nila. So that's conceptualism. I don't care kung ano pa yung means yung paraan mo as long as I have a good outcome. Utila utilitarianism or a utilitarian believes in consensual consequentialism. So, ibig sabihin, the greatest happiness for the greatest number. Majority wins. The more people who benefit from a particular action, the greater it's good. Ito yung pinaniniwalaan ng German. So do you know the story ng German? Si Hitler. Bakit pinatay ni Hitler yung mga Jews? Sino nakakalam ng story na yun? Because Hitler believes in the perfect race or 
the higher race. Naniniwala siya na silang puti, particular German, sila, sila lang yung uh, great race na pwede mabuhay sa mundo. Others are, sila lang yung elite. Other races are parang hindi naman nakakatulong sa society. Kaya, in-execute niya yung Holocaust. So, uh, wala silang pakialam for the utilitarian, uh, yung utilitarianism, wala silang pakialam doon sa execution ni Hitler, pero they believe with the uh, expected output of Hitler. That's why they support Hitler or Nazi. Okay? That's conceptual, consequentialism. Next. This is the last, I think, um, framework. The ontology or Kantianism is an obligation-based theory whose chief author is Immanuel Kant from Apelido na Kantianism. The ontologists believe that moral decisions should be made based on one's duties and the rights of others. So, act morally regardless of the consequences. Act morally according your, to your duty, to your position, to your title, regardless of the consequences. So, ang case natin dito is yung movie na One More Try. Aware naman kayo sa movie. So, sa movie, si Angel Loxin, asawa niya si... Pangalan nito? Tulungan niyo ako dito, guys. Girls. Sino yung asawa niya? Dingdong po. Dingdong. Ano? Dingdong, ma'am. Hindi, ito, ito. Sanjo. Sanjo. Ang asawa niya si Sanjo. Ah. Tapos, si Dingdong, asawa niya si Angelica. Sanjo, Tap bordado. Tapos, si Dingdong at saka si Angel mag-ex. At meron silang unang anak. Ito yun. Yan sa picture sa baba. Kaso, yung unang anak, meron siyang sakit. At para magamot yung anak niya or ma-save yung anak niya, the only uh, way to do that is magkaroon pa ng isang anak kung saan kukunin yung tissue, bone marrow, or what. Na kailangan, kapatid niya talaga. That is why Angel is proposing uh, na mag-anak sila ni Dingdong. Yung may sakit yung anak. Yes. Okay. So, is this ethical and ethical? Okay, sorry. Ethical and ethical. Ethical for Guevara. Kabilangan ethical. Sibal, ethical. Bali, ethical. Maris, ethical. Delabin, Medrano, Manalastat. Ethical, 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 ethical. Manarang, Ulat, Martin, Maninang, Lorraine. Rojo. Ethical. If both parties agree. Benny, ethical. Jong, ethical. Pilirowa, ethical. Maris, ethical. Okay, so you are considering yung position ni Angel dyan. The ontologist. Kung ano yung duties niya as a mother, it's ethically accepted. Okay? So kanina, 
when we are discussing RH bill, culture, uh, cultural relativism, premarital sex, or sex outside marriage is unacceptable. Pero yung belief mo about that now changes depende dun sa scenario that we have now, which is yung position ni Angel. If we are considering the cultural activism, sex with someone that is not your husband or wife is unethically accepted. But with the reason of Angel now, considering the ontology, yung duties niya as a mother para dun sa dying son niya, your belief now is it's ethically acceptable. Okay? So, yung mga framework natin could be, could overlap, could oppose um, usually they overlap, pinagsasama natin yung culture and religion. So, minsan, they are opposing views against yung uh, duties sa religion, against yung duties sa society or sa moral codes and society. So these frameworks are your basis when you uh, do our uh, ethical decision making or when you decide something if you're considering a code of conduct. Okay? So, ito yung tinitinan nating basis. Ano ba yung position ko? Sino ba yung mga involved? Sino ba yung mga players sa scenario? Ano yung mga given? Does this include religion? Does this include law? Does this include uh, society? So, all these frameworks, pwedeng overlap, pwedeng isa, pwedeng dalawang framework consider mo, lahat ng framework consider mo, in making a decision if it's ethically acceptable or unacceptable. Okay? Next, persuasive power of ethics and law. Under the Philippine law, there is a legal obligation on the part of parents to support their children. Civil obligations give a right of action to compel their performance, example of which is when a father fails to fulfill his obligation to support his child. So, the daling sabi, pwede nating sampahan ang isang tatay kung hindi siya nakapagbigay ng sustento. This is against the law. Okay? Or this is um, acceptable, acceptable to the law na sampahan yung tatay. However, the parents cannot compel their children to support, to support them. Although it is natural for the children to support their old parents, there is no law that may be used by parents to compel their children to support them. So dito pumapasok yung persuasive power of ethics and law. Mas malakas ang persuasive or ang convincing power ng law. Kahit sabihin mo na... Uy, yung grabe naman si Ma'am Ray, pinapabayaan yung parents niya. It's unethically acceptable, acceptable na yung anak pabayaan yung parents mo. You do not financially support your parents when you are able to. Unethically acceptable. Diba? Hindi siya acceptable. It's against ethics. However, it's not against law. Okay? So, doon po mapasok yung pers persuasive power of law. Next, uh, yung situation ng father na naging hindi nagsustento. Unacceptable by ethics also against the law. Okay? So, kung titinan niyo bakit nga ganun? Ba uh, yung, per yung tatay na nagpabaya, pwedeng kasuhan. Yung anak na nagpabaya, hindi pwedeng kasuhan. Kasi ganun, yun, ganun din design yung law. Pero both are unethical. Okay? So that's persu uh, persuasive power of ethics and law.
Okay, now, ethics in information technology. This is the last topic for chapter one. So, today's workers might have their email, internet access monitored while at work. Okay lang ba yun na i-monitor yung email access, internet access mo during work? Are you okay with that? As employers struggle to balance their need to manage important company assets and work time with employees, desire for privacy and self-direction. So there is um, a conflict within that. You are access. Yes, Jandro. Oh, may pinto yan mo, ma'am. Ay, ay. Makahirap ko pa mo. Okay. So, the, the conflict within that is you can email, uh, you can access your email, you can access internet. However, it's monitored. Kaso, since it's monitored, as an employee, you feel na it's against your privacy. Pero as the employee, employer, you are protecting your business. Kasi kinakain mo yung oras ko na imbis na nagkatrabaho ka, iba yung inaatupag mo. Okay? Yun yung conflict with, it, uh, with that situation. Ethics and information technology. Next, million of people have used peer-to-peer -peer networks to download music and movies at no charge and in apparent violation of copyright laws. So, sharing, download, this is an ethical debate. Uh, in information technology. Next, organizations contact millions of people worldwide through unsolicited email spam at extremely low cost. So, uh, we are receiving unsolicited email. Basta lang tayo nakaka-receive ng email spam because this is a part of marketing. If you'll be thinking yung company, that's fine. If part ka ng company, that's fine. It's a mar marketing strategy. Pero kung ikaw yung receiver, it's not acceptable for you. Kasi inaabala mo ako. Pinupuno mo lang yung email ko. Next, hackers break into databases of financial institution and steal customer information. Then use it to commit identity theft, opening new accounts, charging purchases oh, to unsuspecting victims. Of course, stealing, uh, be it uh, monetary or identity, it's still a unethically acceptable and legally not acceptable. Students around the world have been caught downloading material from the internet, plagiarizing content from their term papers. O copy-paste tayo ng essay. Okay lang, basta pumasa ako. The ends justify the mean. But if you consider... Uh, copyright, plagiarize, uh, yung plagiarize, it's ethically not acceptable. And lastly, websites plant cookies, spyware, visitors, hard drive to track their uh, internet activity. So, yung cookies or spyware, the debate there is companies use that para ma-profile nila na maayos yung customer nila. So, the more you visit something, example, uh, you are checking a, since my spyware or my cookies na naka-install dun sa browser mo, kapag yung user check siya ng check ng relo, sapatos, then yung company na nagko-collect ng information na yun, nagsasuggest siya ng puro sapatos, puro um, uh, relo, kahit saan site siya pumunta. That is a marketing strategy. Ang debate dyan is, ikaw na user, you think, uh, you feel that your privacy is being watched, or this is against your privacy. Okay? So, yun yung mga debates uh, when it comes to ethics and information technology. Ayun, tapos natin, galing. Right? Sumakit ba ulo nyo? O hindi nyo na ako nakikita? Okay. 
So the rest of the rest of the uh, IT or ethics uh, in IT are the following topics from chapter 2 hanggang chapter 7 or chapter 6. Yung mga naka-assign topics na inyo. Lahat ng yan is the issues, key issues about in IT, uh, laws in IT, copyrights, and iba-iba pa. Meron po ba tayong question about our discussion for today? Okay. So, uh, ruling natin sa reporting. If you cannot report on your assigned date for whatever reason, uh, I will take over your topic and then you will be assigned to discuss yung mga assessment tasks na nasa course book so you can make up for your grade. For the modular people, uh, they ask me some, uh, yung isang araw, if required sila mag-report, yes, uh, kasali ko sila sa reporting, I'm just asking them to, hindi, hindi ko, yung mga nag-working uh, student, I'm not asking, I'm not asking you to join every session, Pero yung session kung kailan kayo mag-report, kahit yun lang maisingit natin. So, I can have a basis for your grade. Um, uh, for September 1, be ready po lahat ng reporters under Chapter 2. Send me your PowerPoint on August 31st, May 31st, the day before September 1. And of course, reporting is in English. Tapos kung titinan nyo po yung, workbook, yung course book, uh, nandun nakalagay dun sa reports and topics yung page number. So check mo po kung ano yung topic mo and then kung ano yung co-cover niya. Check mo yung susunod na reporter kung ano yung topic niya. Huwag mo pong kukunin yung report ng susunod na reporter. Okay? Uh, i-check nyo lang yung content ng course book. Okay. What else? Yun lang. Okay. Wala po din ang question today. Wala po. So it's all. Wala po ba? Wala po ba?